Hi guys, I hope that you're all having a fabulous day. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to film a good old fashioned what's in my bag with a twist because I will be sharing two bags since I will be switching from the Louis Vuitton Nano Noé into the Gucci Ophidia Denim Tote. Plus I wanted to chat a little bit about each of these bags and the items that I'm carrying. So I don't really know what I'm gonna call this video, but I hope that you guys enjoy it. If you do, make sure and give it a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's get started, shall we? All right, so as I said, I will be switching from the Louis Vuitton Nano Noé. This was my handbag of the day yesterday. I did clean it up a bit. Uh, I got rid of some receipts that were hanging out and some tissues. And the only thing that I have missing is my phone. My phone, I have it off to the side, but whenever uh, I do carry this bag with these items, this is pretty much what it looks like. Um, all right, now when it comes to the Nano Noé, I got a lot of questions. Do I still love it? I definitely do. Do I prefer this over the Nano Speedy or vice versa? Uh, I like them both for different reasons. I feel like the Nano Speedy ends up carrying just a little bit more than this one, uh, but I like the fact that I can see everything at a glance when it comes to the Nano Noé. But really, you can't go wrong with either. I've said it before and I'll say it again, these bags are small, but they can definitely pack a punch as you guys are going to see in just a minute what I end up carrying in here. Uh, so I absolutely love that. And uh, I have thought about, I have still thought about cutting off these straps uh, or uh, either taking these off with a seam ripper. Um, but to be completely honest with you, I just, <laughs> I haven't had the courage to do it. I've seen videos on it. It looks fairly simple and it seems like the, the thing to do, especially if I want to give this bag a little bit more versatility and switch it out with different, uh, straps or with different chains, you know, you have that option if I was to take this off, but I feel like. I feel like Murphy's Law. Whatever can go wrong will go wrong and it's gonna happen to me. And until I can shake that feeling, these guys are gonna stay intact. But should that change, should I get the courage to do it, then I will definitely either film it or I will let you guys know and show you how I end up doing it. Uh, but let's just call it what it is. I am just chicken. <laughs> I, I can't do it. Even though I know I should, I'm just like, no, no. What if something happens? I, I don't know. It, just, I, I sound like a lunatic, right? Because it makes sense, but at the same time, I just can't bring myself to do it. But anywho, um, and I also like to add a little chain to this bag. I feel like it gives it a little bit more personality. It gives it a little bit of oomph. This chain is from Organize My Bag. It is called the Box Charm Chain. I will put all the details on the description box below if you guys want to check it out. I love Organize My Bag. Uh, I feel like they end up matching Louis Vuitton's hardware perfectly. Uh, whether you go for their chains, they also have different straps. They also have a few other goodies uh, for your bags. Definitely check them out. All right, so with this bag, like I said, the only thing that I have missing is my phone. And I always like to have a little bit of a loose knot or a bow on the front, just so that way my items are semi-secure, but at the same time, I can still see everything. Uh, but in here, these guys are amazing. I have also thought about getting the little slider for this instead of having to um, make the little bow or a knot, but it doesn't um, it doesn't bother me to, to do a little knot. So in here, I have the Chanel uh, Mini O case or the Beauty CC case. This is in the green caviar with the light gold hardware. This and the Goyard uh, card holder in the Bordeaux, these two make up my wallet. So in this one, uh, I usually have my driver's license. I already took that out. Uh, I also have my debit card, my credit card. I have some cash. And then the other components of my, uh, of my wallet are in here. So my insurance information, if I have some gift cards, I also like to carry uh, more cash in here, especially because I don't have to fold it as much in these O cases, I only have to fold it once versus having to fold cash multiple times to put it on this top uh, credit card slot. So these two make up my wallet. Then I also have my Louis Vuitton photo album. Uh, this has pictures of uh, Edward. So this goes with me everywhere. And I also have the Louis Vuitton key pouch. In here I have bobby pins, hair clips, hair ties. I have these. I always carry them in all of my bags. I also have them in my car. They're all over, I mean, I have them in my house and I feel like I still lose them. And I've said this in other videos as well. I don't know what happens to them. I don't know where they go. It's almost like, like socks. 
Socks, I feel like I end up losing all the time <laughs> from the washer to the dryer. I've checked, you know, I've checked the vents, I've checked everything, and I still can't find these, these darn socks. So I feel like <laughs> hair ties, bobby pins, and hair clips are the same thing. Am I crazy? Am I the only one that thinks this? Let me know in the comment section down below if that happens to you guys as well. Uh, all right, then uh, I also have my uh, Louis Vuitton six ring key holder. I already switched this out as well before the video. Uh, so I just have my house keys, my uh, office keys and all that other good stuff in here. Uh, then I have the Louis Vuitton round coin purse. I have one lipstick. Uh, this is the Saint Laurent um, number 121. I love this color and it smells amazing, uh, and I like, it's not as dark as it looks on the, uh, you know, in here. Uh, it's definitely a little bit lighter, and I feel like it's very moisturizing. I have used this uh, quite a bit. This is actually my second tube of this lipstick, and I also have the Gucci Affidia key pouch. In here, I have my key fob, uh, headache medicine, headache... <laughs> <laughs> headache medicine. Uh, I also have some gum and some, um, what's it called? Uh, <laughs> tooth floss. I have that in here. I get a lot of questions on this uh, container. This is the small pill container. You can get it at the container store. This, uh, they also have a larger one, uh, but I personally like this one. And this was a gift uh, from a very good friend a few years ago. And I also carry this in all of my bags. Uh, so that pretty much does it for the Nano No Way. Like I said before, it is small, but it packs a punch. Before I share what I'm gonna be carrying inside of this bag, I just wanted to talk a little bit about it. So the Gucci Affidia Tote in the Denim, I think is a fabulous, fabulous bag. It is unbelievably comfortable. I can use it for extended periods of time, no problem. These shoulder straps, they don't dig into my skin when I go to use it on the crook of my arm. They don't dig into my shoulder either, which I think is wonderful. And they also stay in place. They don't roll off of my shoulder, which I think is amazing because I have other totes within my collection that whenever I go to set them on my shoulder, little by little, they start creeping off and that drives me nuts. So the fact that this one doesn't do it makes me even happier. Uh, so that's awesome. I love the way that it looks. I love the denim with the darker leather. I think it's a really nice combination, especially with the gold hardware. And uh, with this one, I do end up using an organizer because if I don't use an organizer, it turns into a beautiful mess. And really that's just because of the denim that you have up here. Uh, if it didn't have an organizer, it just pretty much ends up looking like this. So <laughs> that, doesn't, uh, that doesn't give me the warm and fuzzies. You guys know that I do like a little bit of structure. So the organizer, I feel, uh, definitely ends up working out the best with this bag, especially for it to maintain its shape, uh, whether you're using it or whenever you go to store it as well. Uh, now, as far as the organizer goes, um, I did ask Samorga if they can custom make one for me. They do have one on the website, which I think is great, but it was also a little bit shorter. They were very gracious and they sent that they sent that one to me. But like I said before, it was on the shorter side and I noticed that whenever I would use it, the top half of the bag would kind of lean over. So I thought that if the organizer was a little bit taller, it would again help to maintain its shape. So uh, like I said before, I asked them if they can custom make it and it does end up covering up the zipper here, which I don't mind uh, because I just wanted it to stay in the upright position, uh, whether I was using it or whenever I'd go to store it. It pretty much stays like that. So I really like um, the way that the organizer turned out for this, but this bag is very, very spacious as you guys can see. I think it's either 15 or 16 inches in length so it's, uh, it's very, very generous. And I love that magnetic closure because it's, it's, really, <laughs> it's really powerful. It's not like this flimsy magnet, you know, that just opens up uh, just by touching it. Definitely not. So absolutely love this bag. And it also has an amazing price point. Um, okay, so in here, and it's funny because whenever I go from a nano bag or from a mini bag into a bigger bag, especially a tote, I feel like I get even giddier. I get even happier. I don't know if it's because totes are my jam 
or because the pack rat in me is going, yes, you get to carry a little bit more and a little bit more and you get to carry the kitchen sink. I have no idea, all right? But if you guys are a tote lover as well, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, okay, so these are the items that I got out of the Nano No Way. There are some things that are gonna stay the same. The photo album from Louis Vuitton, the other is the round coin purse from Louis Vuitton and the key pouch. Sometimes I will switch out the key pouch uh, to a different print, uh, but I am uh, I'm being a little bit lazy and uh, I'm going to keep this one the same. I did switch out the keys from the key holder, so I'm going to be going from the Louis Vuitton six ring key holder into the Chanel six ring key holder. And with this one, I like that it has a little back pocket and in this back pocket, I do like to carry uh, a couple singles in there. Um, okay, now the things that I'm carrying inside of the Gucci Affidia key pouch, uh, these things I'm gonna be carrying inside of the Louis Vuitton mini pochette. In here, I already have uh, the extra fob for my husband's car, uh, just because I like to carry his, sometimes he carries mine. I am definitely one of those just in case people. I like to carry them because I feel like the moment when I don't carry them, that's when I'm going to need them. Uh, I have put that to the test before and there have been times when uh, he has needed his spare key or I've needed mine. And it's just like, whew, we both carry you know, each other. So I think that's awesome. So I have his key fob in here. I'm gonna be putting my, ex my key fob, uh, my gum, my dental floss, my headache medicine, and usually I'll end up putting a lipstick in here as well. So let me actually move these off to the side, the ones that I'm going to be switching into. Now for my wallet, as I had mentioned, these two made up my wallet, the Chanel Mini O case or the Beauty CC case and the Goyard card holder. And since I'm gonna be going into a larger bag, I'm gonna go for a full size wallet, that being the Louis Vuitton Zippy wallet. I absolutely love this wallet. It is amazing. I love how spacious it is. You can also use this as a clutch because I have been able to fit my phone in here and a lipstick or a little lip balm, which is awesome. Uh, but I will have to say that it does add a little bit just a little bit of weight to whatever bag you are carrying. Uh, because I feel like whenever, if I'm not carrying this wallet, if I'm carrying something smaller, um, the bags tend to feel a lot lighter. Once I go to put this wallet in there, it's like, boom. <laughs> I can definitely feel that weight. So I just had to throw that out there. Uh, but these items are gonna go in here. So my, my wallet. Now on to cosmetics, because as you guys saw on the Nano No Way, I was carrying one lipstick, and I really don't like to just carry one lipstick. I like to have options. I'm a girl that needs options. So I'm gonna be using the Louis Vuitton Nano Nice. Uh, this Nano Nice I think is awesome, and to be completely honest with you, I feel like I have gotten so much more use out of it using it as a cosmetics case inside of my larger bags than I would using it as a mini toiletry or for travel or what have you. I love, love, love using this as a cosmetics case. Uh, and with this one, as I said before, I like to have options because if I only have one lipstick, not that it gives me anxiety because that sounds kind of ridiculous, but I feel like, like I'm not myself <laughs> when I only have one lipstick. Does that make sense? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. If you guys are like me as well, let me know. Don't leave me hanging. Tell me I'm not the only one. Tell me that you like to have options when it comes to your lip products as well. Anywho, I digress. So in here, uh, I think it's the perfect size for your cosmetics and because it does have that wipeable interior, you don't have to worry, it's very easy to clean. So this guy, I'm gonna be carrying my Gucci powder. This is the um, beauty powder in number three, Matte Natural. I love this formula. I love the way that it smells. I also love the packaging. Uh, I think it's wonderful. And it also comes with I think they're just Gucci in general. I, I'm a huge, huge fan. It also comes with this guy down here, uh, but love this powder. So that guy's going in there. Um, I'm also going to be carrying uh, the Hermes Lip Enhancer. I get a lot of questions on this lip enhancer. This is the Rosy Lip Enhancer in the number 49 Rose Tan. And this is an awesome, awesome formula. Out of all of the Hermes lip products that I have, this is definitely my favorite. 
uh, because it's like a lip balm slash stain and it's not drying, it's very moisturizing, and I love the color. It just gives you a hint, a hint of pink, a hint of rose. It's not like this crazy bright pink either. Uh, I feel like it matches any skin tone, but I really, really love this formula. So um, I think this is an awesome, I can't recommend this, this guy enough. And the other lip products that I have from, from Hermes, I think that they're great. They have beautiful colors. The matte ones, they're very drying. I didn't have the best success with those. And the ones that are a little bit shinier, those are great too. But I feel out of all of them, out of all of the formulas, this one definitely takes the cake. I highly, highly recommend the, um, the rose tan. They have a few other colors as well, but this one I think is awesome. So that guy's gonna go in there. I also have this Tom Ford lipstick. Um, I'll be honest with you, <laughs> it was the packaging that just kind of <laughs> got my attention because it's this beautiful mirrored, mirrored gold, you know, case. It's gorgeous. Uh, but the color is also fabulous. This is the Balm Frost. Check this out, you guys. It is full of glitter on the outside, but it also has glitter on the inside so when you go to put it on you have these little specks of glitter and the glitter isn't rough either you know how like there's those uh, lipsticks that have the glitter and you put them on and you go to put your lips together and you can feel like these big boulders of sand or big boulders of rocks on your lips that is not what this feels like not at all and it also smells like vanilla but let me just swatch it so you guys can see it it's just this bomb this beautiful bomb you can't even tell it's right there but it has glitter. It has so much glitter. And I can't deny glitter, right? So I saw the gold packaging. I was like, ooh, yes. And then I saw that it was glitter. I mean, I was, I was sold, all right? <laughs> so this guy's gonna go in here. Uh, then I also have um, my eye drops because my eyes get very, very dry. This is the Blink Contacts because I do wear contacts. I am blind as a bat. Um, I also have this uh, lip balm. I recently got this. This is the Portland Bee Balm, supporting urban bees. I got this at, was it Trader Joe's? Was it Sprouts? I don't remember, but it smells minty. I love mint lip balms, awesome. And it has like this little wooden thing. I think you're supposed to take this off, but I thought it was really cute and I didn't want to take off the uh, the little packaging. So this guy goes in there. I also have this NARS uh, lipstick. This is unrestricted, beautiful color as well. Uh, there we go. Let me just swatch it so you guys can see it. It's a little bit brighter, this guy right here, than the, it has a little bit more of that mauve than the Hermes, but it's an awesome formula as well. And it also smells amazing. I'm really a sucker for lip products that smell good. I know that some people, um, they might be, uh, some people are really sensitive to, to, you know, to smells when it comes to beauty products, but if it has a really good scent to it, oh yeah. And last but not least, the greatest lip gloss on the face of this earth, at least in my opinion, the Buxom Lip Gloss, and this is in the color Celeste. That's actually what I'm wearing on my lips right now. So this guy is gonna go in here as well. And there we go, it is completely full. Not completely full, because I still have room for more, right? Uh, but that is it. And I also like to carry the uh, Chanel number no. five. Um, this is the body cream from the factory. Uh, sometimes I carry this, sometimes I go for the little egg, but uh, I've really been loving this one. And I also have this um, Chanel, uh, what's it called, the Chanel fragrance. Uh, with a twist top, and this is pretty much what I'm gonna be carrying in this tote. So let's fill this bad boy up. I feel like I'm gonna get the lip stuff on here, so <laughs> I'm trying to be careful. So in here, we have, actually, let's do this. I'm gonna do it first on this side so it makes it a little bit easier. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I really do utilize these pockets, especially for like the smaller uh, SLGs. There goes this guy and my phone would go off to the side. Hang on. All right, so this is what we got going on. See, and I still have more room if I wanted to add more small leather goods. 
Um, usually I'll end up uh, carrying my agenda in here as well. And sometimes I'll put the agenda in between the organizer and the bag. I feel like it makes it a little bit easier for me to access it. Or if I wanted to fit my tablet, I can also do that. But this is what I'm going to be carrying today. So that is it. And as you can see, it's, <laughs> it's definitely got a lot more weight to it. That brings us to the end of this video and how I switched from the Louis Vuitton Nano Noé into the Gucci Affidia Denim Tote. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure and give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you want me to do more of these videos in the future. If you want me to go from a larger bag into a smaller bag, whatever the case may be, let me know uh, if you guys want me to do more because I definitely had a blast doing them. It kind of reminds me of old school YouTube, right? At least I feel that way. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope I was able to give you a little bit more info and I will see you on my next one. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not, the choice is yours. Have a great day.